Yo guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to another one of Jordy's Beer Reviews. And this one we're looking at... Brasserie. Brasserie. French. Cheap. One of these wee cheap wee beers that you can pick up. Um, you can pick up ten of them for a fiver in Asda. So, yeah, cheap French wagger time here at Jordy's Beer Reviews. This is 4% volume. 4% alcohol volume. And it's called... Quality Brewed. Brasserie, serve ice cold, beer superior, imported premium lager, alcohol 4% volume and a 250ml, wee tiny wee stubby bottle, so basically a half pint bottle, um, nothing on the back, bottle cap, plain white bottle cap, nothing interesting there, so let's just get it open into a, a glass and see what's all about. So, I've had this before, um, it was actually at a mate's house I had it, um, my mate's dad actually gave me one, um, shout out to Ryan's dad, shout out to Raymond, um, so yeah, my mate's dad gave me one of these and I liked it, and then I asked him where he got it from and he says Aldi, so, I was in Aldi yesterday and I picked up a 10 pack of it, had some last night, and um, yeah, they're not bad. So I thought I would jump on and give it a wee review because there's I've not really seen any reviews out there. I've only seen one. And um, the only guy I've seen a, the only guy I've seen do a review of this is Jake O'Beer. So shout out to you, mate. And um, he's the only one I've seen doing this, and it was quite a funny review. I enjoyed it, man. Um, so anyway, let's go with the appearance of the beer. Very queer, very well carbonated stuff. If I hold this up there, you can see right through it. Very queer, visible appearance. I would say, if you're going to have, like, like, Jacob B was saying, you should drink, it's probably better drinking it from the bottle, and I think I agree, to be honest with you. I've never poured this in a glass until right now. Um, so, yeah. I would probably stick to drinking it in a bottle as well. Um, you could smash that in a second, you know. Sweet skunked smell. Bready, skunky smell. Tiny bit sweet. Okay, let's go with the taste deal. So cheers to everyone watching. Thank you for watching. Let's drink brasserie. Cheers. Mmm. That's ice cold as well. <laughs> um, it's really white. Um, crisp queen. It's definitely a beer that you serve chilled. It even says that on it. Serve ice cold. Well, yeah, definitely. Every beer should be served ice cold, you know? Um, there's a skunked element to this stuff. Well, it is a green bottle, you know, but still, obviously, it's going to be a bit skunked. And you can identify that for sure. Very crisp, light bodied beer. Bitter. Nice bit of bitterness going on. Nice skunked taste. Um, quite a lot of people complain about the skunked um, beers being skunked and stuff like that. Um, to each their own, I guess, but I actually like the skunkiness about a beer. I actually do. I like the skunkiness of a beer. Sometimes it adds to it, you know? Like Heineken. Okay, let's just go with the, the scores. So, <laughs> always here at Jordy's Beer Reviews, we give three scores. Artwork, drinkability, and then we go for the final score. So, artwork of the bottle of beer, guys. I mean, it's a little, it's interesting, you know. It's a cheap beer, but it doesn't exactly look cheap on the label. It, it actually doesn't look that cheap on the label, it actually looks quite nice. You know, nothing on the back though. <coughs> yeah, nothing. Completely nothing on the back. So, brossy French cheap beer. Um, I like it, to be honest with you. The artwork. So, like, it definitely doesn't look cheap. 
Um, when my mate's dad gave me it, I wasn't ex exactly sure what it was, to be honest with you. Um, first time I'd had it was like a, a month ago or something. I'm never usually in Aldi. Um, I mean, I've probably seen it in Aldi before and just not gave it a second glance, you know. But next time I'm, I'm, I'm in Aldi, I'll probably pick some up because I do like them. There's a nice wee skunked element about this that, 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 that catches me. Um, anyway, artwork, guys, I'm going to give it a... Hmm... I'll give it a seven. I'll give it. An, uh, do you know what? I'll give it an eight. I'll just give it a straight eight. Straight up, eight out of ten for the artwork. Eight out of ten for the artwork. Okay. Sorry, I've got a bit of OCD, ain't I? I like it. I like everything being perfect, you know. Anyway, um, artwork eight out of ten. Drinkability easy. Easy drinking. I would say it's more easy drinking in the bottle though because you can just go boom and it's done. And I have a beer and it's gone. A wee South Park reference there. And it's gone, you know. Um drink about here, I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a nine point a nine point five. Nine point five out of ten for the drink ability. Remember guys, this is all my own opinion and stuff. It's a nightmare to try and get that to fucking show, isn't it? Next up, guys, final grade. So, final grade on this Aldi cheap French beer. Cheap French beer from Aldi. As I said, I'm never usually an Aldi, honestly. Um, but I might need to start checking the place out more often. There's a lot of beers from Aldi that I've still not reviewed yet. Um, I'll get round to that. I've got one in the fridge of the now called Saint Etienne. I got a four pack of it last night and I liked it. So I'm going to review Saint Etienne. So look out for that. <sighs> yeah, super light, very refreshing stuff. <laughs> nice bitterness going on there. Um, nice skunked element to it as well, um, which I like, which a lot of other people will like. Um, you know, some people might not like it, um, but I do. Um, so if you're in Aldi and you've picked this up and you're just wondering what it's like and you've, you've came here, then I'm telling you, well, yeah, that's a nice one, but there's better beers out there, you know. Um, but that's brilliant for the price. Five quid for ten bottles. That's what it was in in, this, in, in my Aldi. Um, the prices might be different in England and Ireland, maybe, because Scotland's weird with our alcohol tax. Shit. Fucking booze tax. Boo to booze tax. Fuck booze tax, you know. But, um, yeah. Still good for the price. Ten wee bottles of that. Ten wee half pints. So if you think about it, ten, ten half pints. That's five pints. So you're getting five pints for a fiver. Boom. Bang for the buck, you know. Um, a pound a pint, basically. 50p a half pint. 50p a bottle. That's 50p a bottle then. Fucking hell. 50p a bottle of beer. <laughs> this is 50 pence. I just worked it out there. I should have worked it out a bit earlier, but you know, I can't do enough. Um, anyway, Brossy Wee. I'm going to give it a final score, guys. I like this wee beer. I would check it out again. It reminds me of like. Probably like. like Asda has some as well. Asda has a 10 pack of beer deluxe. Um, I've had that as well, but I think I like this one better. I'm going to give this, for what it is, it's a cheap French beer. Thinking about the price, thinking about everything about the beer, I'm going to give it a straight up. I'm thinking 7.5 out of 10. 7.5 out of 10. That's just what I feel. 7.5 out of 10 for Brosserie, guys. It's not bad. Um, would I buy it again? Yeah. Would I try it on draft? I don't think we do it on draft. Doubt it. Um, but sure, I would try it on draft as well. Um, anyway, guys, catch you guys in the next one. That was seven points. So, so a wee recap of the scores, guys. Artwork, eight out of ten. Drinking booty, nine point five out of ten. Final score, seven point five. So that was Brossy cheap French beer from Aldi. Check it out. You might like it. You might not. Um, peace, love, happiness to all, and to all. Catch you guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.